Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the top tweaks that have been released in July of 2012. First up is one called Check, and what Check does is it allows you to delete more than one email at a time. You know if you have deleted many emails with the iPad or iPhone, you have to do them one at a time. Well Check allows you to do more than one at a time. You type the edit button. Hold your finger down on the first email you want to delete until the check gets, you hold down a little bit and then let off and that'll start flashing. Okay, now if I want to delete everything from here to the bottom, all I got to do is just touch the email and it puts all those emails over here to delete. Now I can delete eight emails at one time. If I want it to scroll down through my emails and go all the way down to the bottom, I could delete a hundred at a time. It wouldn't matter. It, that depends on what you want to do. So that's a pretty awesome tweak. Another tweak that was released in July that was free, and these are the free ones right now, by the way, is called Notes Tab. And what Notes Tab does is it puts a tab on your keyboard so you can tab. So if you want to tab, you, it, it tabs five spaces between each word. The test of the test for notes tab. Okay, now you see what it does. It puts five spaces up here. That's a free tweak, guys. Check it out. It's awesome. Another awesome tweak is called multi-story. And what this does is it doubles the space in your app switcher. So if you see right here at the bottom, I want to look at anything in here. All I got to do is tap anything here. Those are the applications that are running in the background. Okay, so if I want to swipe over here and control my music, I can do, do that. And you see it's very, very nice to have that double space down in the bottom of your app switcher. And it works nice anywhere, you, anywhere you're at. And you can see you can flip through all of these applications that are running in the background. Okay? That's called, sorry about that, multi-story. And it's free. All right? The rest of these we're going to have to go down to the iPhone. So hold on to your eyeballs. I'm going to crank you down just a little bit here so we can get a better view of the iPhone. And I'll try my best to get the best quality we can get here. Okay, there we go. All right, first up is called Fold Music. If you're a music lover, you're going to love this. What this does is it puts a folder right on your springboard of any music you want. You see I've got Bon Jovi on there and I've got Creed on there. So all I had to do to do that was go under my settings, go down to Fold Music, F-O-L-D-M-U-S-I-C, right there. Now I touch Add. And when I hit new, it's going to pull up all the content that's on my device. And if I wanted to add, let's say I wanted to add any of these. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's say, don't make fun of me for having Hannah Montana. That's my daughter. If I wanted to add this one, okay. Now, when I go back out, I'll have a folder on my springboard of that okay let's scroll over here and you can see right here slippery when wet is right there beside it and there's probably not but yeah there's two songs in there but they're duplicates and you can see inside there i don't have that much music creed's got a little more you can flip through and you see it's a pretty awesome tweet guys if you are a music lover you definitely want to check that out another awesome tweak that came out this was browser chooser and it works with Chrome, and I hope I still have Chrome on here, and I don't, okay? Now, that's going to create some problems, so let's go to...
All right, guys, let me show you what Chromizer looks like. It's a pretty awesome tweak, and what it does is it allows you, first of all, it makes your Chrome experience much better. And I have gone ahead, and I've, I've got Browser Chooser and Chromizer installed. And let me show you what they do. All Browser Chooser is, it just you just select whether you want Chrome or Safari to be your native browser and I've chose Chrome so any type of links I open from emails or anything like that will open up in Chrome that's what browser chooser does it's free as well now inside Chrome if I want to pull to refresh that's part of Chromizer and you can see it's refreshing the page right now as we speak so it makes your Chrome experience a lot smoother and better and you can swipe to the left or to the right to delete pages that's another awesome thing you can do and also it tells you inside of the directions for Chromizer that let me show you what I'm talking about that you can pull the refresh, swipe with two fingers to go back or forward, and it's got the iPhone style switching on the iPad. So we're looking at it actually on the iPhone. And last but not least is one called Voice Search. What this does, it allows you to search Google from anywhere on your iPhone, no matter what you're doing. So watch this. iPhone Captain. And the only bad thing that about it is you have to touch done when you finish speaking. And you see right there that it understood me completely. And it pulled up iPhone Captain in the search. So don't forget, guys, to go over to freecityoftweaks.com. That's a new site I have. Check out iPhoneCaptain.com. And also hit that subscribe button before you leave. 